Third Guru, one who knows the benevolent Lord, God is the true devotee of devotion, Bhagwati. By Guru's grace, he recognizes his own self. He restrains his wandering mind and brings Lord back to his own home and within his self. He remains dead whilst still alive and chants the name of the Lord. Sublime is such a devotee and exalted is such Bhagati. O Nanak, he merges into the true one. Third Guru, he is full of deceit and yet he calls himself a devotee of devotion. By hypocrisy, he shall never attain the Supreme Lord God. He slanders others and soils himself with his own filth. Outwardly, he washes off the filth, but the impurity of his mind does not go away. He argues with the true congregation, the Satsangat, night and day. He suffers engrossed in the love of the duality. He does not remember the name of the Lord, but still he performs all sorts of hollow rituals. That which is preordained and destined cannot be erased. O Nanak, without serving the true Guru, moksha, salvation cannot be attained. Pori, those who meditated on the true Guru do not get burnt to ashes. They who meditate on the true Guru are satisfied and stiated. Those who meditate on the true Guru are not afraid of Yama, the messenger of death. Those upon whom the Lord showers His mercy fall at the feet of the true Guru. Their faces are radiant here and hereafter, and they go to God's portal dressed in robes of honor. Slok Second Guru Chop off that head which does not bow to the Lord. O Nanak, take and burn that human body in which there is no pang of separation from the Lord. Fifth Guru, having forgotten the primal Lord, O Nanak, people take birth and die over and over again. Mistaking Maya for musk, they have fallen into the stinking pit of filth. Pori, O my mind, meditate on that name of the Lord whose command rules over all. O my mind, repeat such name of the God which shall rescue you at the last moment. O my mind, chant that name of the Lord which shall drive out all hunger and desire from your mind. Very fortunate and blessed is the Gurmukh who chants the Naam by which all slenders and sinners fall at his feet. O Nanak, worship and adore the Naam, the greatest name of all before which all come and bow. Salok so, third Guru, she may wear good clothes, but the bride is ugly and of rude temperament. Her mind is false and impure. She does not walk in harmony with the will of her husband, Lord. Instead, she foolishly gives him orders. But she who walks in harmony with the Guru's will shall be spared all pain and suffering. That one writ preordained by the Creator cannot be erased. A good woman is one who dedicate her mind and body to her husband Lord and enshrines love for the word of the Shabad. Without his name, no one has found him, see and reflect upon it in your heart. O Nanak, beautiful and graceful is she who has won the favor of the Creator Lord, who ravishes and enjoys her. Third Guru, attachment to Maya is an ocean of darkness. Neither this shore nor the one beyond can be seen. The ignorant, self-willed Manmukhs suffer in terrible pain. Forgetting the Lord's name, they drown. They arise in the morning and perform many rituals, but they are caught in the love of duality. Those who serve the true Guru cross over the terrifying world ocean. O Nanak, the Gurumukhs keep the true name clasped to their heart and become absorbed in the true Lord. Pori, the Lord pervades the oceans, the sandy tracts, 
the earth and the sky there is no other seated on the throne god himself administers justice and thrashes the false hearted and drives them away to the truthful the lord bestows glorious greatness and administers righteous justice upon them so everybody praise the lord he who protects the poor and lost souls he grants laurels to the virtuous and punishes the evil slok third guru the self willed woman is a foolish bride ill natured filthy rude and an evil wife forsaking her husband lord and leaving her own home she bears affection for another her passion is never ending and she burns and cries out in pain o nanak without the name she is ugly and ungraceful and is abandoned and forsaken by her husband lord third guru the happy soul bride is attuned to the word of the shabad she is in love with the true guru with true love and affection she continually enjoys and ravishes her beloved she is such a lovable beautiful and noble woman o nanak with the name of her lord she is made the true bride and he blends her with himself